Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. This video is going to be about beginning level of genetics. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answers. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the first question. Which of these describes an organism that has the genotype capital B, small b? Answer A. Homozygous dominant. And homozygous dominant would be genotype capital B, capital B. Answer B. Homozygous recessive. And genotype homozygous recessive would be small b, small b. And hemozygous. Imagine that we have uh, two sets of um, chromosomes here as you see I use different colors because this is diploid organism and diploid organism has half of its uh, uh, chromosomes from the uh, father side and uh, half of them would be from the mother side and if it is going to be female sex chromosomes would be um, X and X, so one X chromosome from the mother side, another from the father side. And if it is going to be a male, so we would have the same set of chromosomes, but here we would have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So as you see, this uh, would be a situation here that we call hemizygosity, because one X chromosome wouldn't be balanced with another X chromosome. So we have only one X chromosome here, but here we have two X chromosomes. So uh, here we have Y chromosome and no another Y chromosome to balance. So whenever we have, for example, on this X chromosome recessive allele, for example, in uh, example with uh, this female, if this uh, recessive allele would be on this X chromosome, uh, phenotype still would be dominant. But if we would have recessive allele here, because there is only one X chromosome, this recessive allele would uh, behave like dominant allele. So once again, such situation we call hemozygosity. So all the males would be hemozygous. So which answer to choose? Actually, the correct answer would be answer D. None of the above. Because uh, genotype that is capital B, small b, we call heterozygous. And this is not the same what is a hemozygous. So next question. A white mouse whose parents are both white produce only brown offspring when made with brown mice. The white mice is probably, and once again here, uh, four answers to choose from, and imagine that uh, here we have genotype of brown mice, that is going to be capital B, capital B, and white mice would be small b, small b. So here we have two parents, who is going to be one homozygous dominant, another one homozygous recessive and all the genotypes of all the progeny would be capital B, small b, so heterozygous. But phenotype would be the same as uh, this parent and those genotype would be intermediate but phenotype would be the same as of the parent on the left. So all of the offspring would have dominant phenotype. And the correct answer would be, once again, uh, in our question, uh, we are looking for the uh, genotype of the white mice. That is going to be homozygous recessive. So our choice would be answer B. Once again, the brown parent would be homozygous dominant, white parent would be homozygous recessive, and all of the offspring would be heterozygous, and phenotype would be the same as uh, parent on the left, so 
100% of the offspring would be also brown. And answer uh, D, haploid, uh, is a wrong answer because uh, all mammals are diploid and uh, haploid only can be gametes, uh, egg cell or sperm. And haploid uh, can be some of the insects, for example, uh, this can be bees, they have haplodiploidy sex determination system. In this system, uh, males who is going to be drones would be haploid, and uh, females who is going to be queen and workers would be diploid. Also, this system can be found in ants and wasps. And this is not our answer today. Our answer, homozygous recessive, would be one of these parents who is going to be white. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.